When a narcissist permanently loses you, what they'll do next will shock you. Thanks for visiting our channel again. We're here to help you navigate the complex issues surrounding narcissism, narcissistic relationships, and getting back on your feet. Today, I want to ask our viewers a topic that will make them think. What happens when someone finally breaks free from a manipulative person's grip? Post your theories and thoughts in the space provided below. Power, control, and manipulation are the primary motivators for narcissists in their relationships, as is widely recognized. People with this personality type have a hard time coping when their control over other people is upset because they depend so much on other people's approval to bolster their self-esteem. This is the kind of thing that, in my experience, may easily spiral out of control. What follows is a collection of shocking cases that I have compiled to show you what may happen when a narcissist loses control. This is an example of the possible consequences of a narcissistic relationship that has ended. When you, as their adult kid, ultimately cut off financial assistance or pack up and leave their home, your narcissistic parent will likely respond in a far from positive light. Your declaration of independence would provoke their fury, as their mode of operation is based on controlling the flow of money. 2. Picture this. You've worked really hard for that promotion or raise, and now you're romantically linked with a narcissist. Well done, isn't it? Problems may arise, though, when the balance of power changes, which will only serve to amplify your partner's narcissism. 3. Another situation that calls for the same level of care is getting out from under a controlling boss who is toxic and narcissistic and moving on to a new job or starting your own business where they won't have any influence over you. Get ready for that person to have a negative reaction. These are just a few instances of the many ways narcissistic people respond when they feel they are losing control. Making better sense of complicated interactions requires awareness of these well-established patterns and mechanisms. We would be delighted to hear about your own experiences and ideas if you choose to share them in the comments section. When establishing limits with you, narcissistic people can react in ways you never expected. They may try to break your confidence by insulting you, lowering your status, and casting doubt on your value. Many people have told you things like, you'll fail, regardless, don't delude yourself, you're doomed to fall, or your accomplishments are fleeting and will soon fade. On top of that, they could subtly imply that your objectives are foolish and will cause you to feel regret by using threats. Alternately, you could fall prey to their notorious victim scam. Sayings like, it's always your way, are to be expected. At this point in time, I am useless to you, or I am unable to escape difficulties, but you have it easy. When they feel they have no choice but to blame you, they will act victimized. Additionally, some narcissists are capable of engaging in abandonment behavior. They may ignore you, give you the silent treatment, or threaten to quit the relationship if they see that you're too busy with work to care about them. Their actions defy description, and they will stop at nothing to exert control over you. On top of that, narcissists will do anything to get even, including starting a smear campaign and spreading falsehoods about your new projects. They may purposefully hinder your advancement, withhold vital information, or even conspire against you. If you want to heal from a toxic relationship, you need to go away from the environment where you thought you had to hide or be quiet in order to stay in it. This is a journey about finding your voice, about supporting your freedom, and about cultivating your personality. But as you grow and gain independence, the narcissist's reaction could be disturbing. They despise giving up control, and you could wind yourself in their arms. Now that you're free from their control, they can only look down on you with contempt. When you stop supplying them, you become an obstacle. For the sake of their own ego, they will stop at nothing to return you to your old position, rather than letting you rise through the ranks and achieve your goals. A narcissist's goal in life is to gain power and control, and they despise situations where they aren't the dominant figure. They prioritize control no matter the job they have, from shift manager at a small restaurant to CEO of a massive international firm. Narcissists might act in a variety of ways when they feel their control over you weakening. They might switch roles, act differently, go from being the aggressor to the victim, and even resort to abandonment threats. It's heartbreaking to know that this relationship stifled your potential and prevented you from reaching your dreams. 
Even if you had a hunch, it's another story when the proof comes to light. People who are really invested in these relationships take it as a hint that narcissists will leave at the first indication of change or defiance. Therefore, reducing one's size in order to foster the relationship is the typical reaction. They understand that if they try to escape the narcissist's clutches, the narcissist would likely respond with scorn, anger, or even abandonment. If the narcissist's world is the only one that matters, then the relationship will function. The arrangement becomes unsustainable once this dynamic is challenged. Their reaction will be one of explosive wrath or the end of the partnership. People who are in relationships with narcissists typically limit themselves because they are afraid of becoming angry or being abandoned. Without realizing it, your fear could be preventing you from reaching your maximum potential. If you're in a relationship with a narcissist, you must learn to establish your independence despite your fears of losing control and discomfort with taking the lead. I hope you may overcome your anxieties and discover a life that truly suits you. You should be valued for who you really are and be able to flourish in a relationship that encourages personal development and mutual regard. We appreciate you watching today's video.